hello boys and girls welcome to our online service how are you doing how was your week i hear you say great awesome fabulous very good nice fine oh great that's what we want to hear okay so welcome to our online service as you know it's time to stay focused get engaged um whatever um device that you're using make sure that you're concentrating you're not doing something else because you know why god is right there right now and he's um watching you he wants to hear you sing he wants to hear you um he's watching how attentive you are and um, because he'll be speaking to you even through um whatever beyond what the teachers is, uh, uh, teachers are going to say to you god is going to be telling you certain things and that will help you in the future it's going to help your life make your life easier make you um uh, more uh, smarter help you with your schoolwork and all the things that you think you need help with right so don't take these moments for granted stay focused stay tuned and i'll see you again bye how are you doing today are you ready to worship i'm sure you are can you put your hand on your chest with me and say i love you jesus can you make it louder and say i love you jesus i'm sure you love jesus can you put your hands together with me as we worship together come on let's go put your hands together yeah i'm sure you love jesus so we're singing on how we love jesus Put your hands together like this, everybody. Come on, come on, come on, come on. As we love on you, receive our love, receive our love. And as we shout your name, receive our praises receive our praises say as we love on you receive our love receive our love and as we shout woo, your name jesus receive our praises receive our praises your name is high, be glorified. There's no other name, no other name, no other name like yours. Your name is high, be glorified. You are great, you are great, greatly to be praised. We lift your name. Can you dance with me from side to side? Come on, come on, come on. We'll take it from the top again. Say, as we love on you, receive our love, receive our love. And as we shout your name, Jesus, receive our praises, receive our praises. Let's sing it one more time. As we love on you, receive our love, receive our love. And as we shout, shout the name of Jesus. I'll say, receive our praises, receive our praises. Because your name is high, be glorified. There's no other name, no other name, no other name like yours, Jesus. Your name is high, be glorified. You are great, you are great, great to be praised. We lift your name. Can you jump as you lift the name of Jesus? Can you jump as you lift the name of Jesus? Now sing with me and say, we make you bigger. We shout your name. Can you shout the name of Jesus? We make you bigger. We shout your name. Can you sing it with me? Say, we make you bigger. We shout your name. We 
make you bigger. We shout your name, lift your hands and say, we lift you higher. We shout your name, we lift you higher. We shout your name, hey, we make you bigger. Like this, and we shout your name. Can you do like this with me? We make you bigger. We shout your name. Now lift your hands up and say, we lift you higher. Hey, we shout your name. Jesus, we lift you higher. We shout your name. Hey, one more time. We lift you higher. We shout your name. We lift you higher. We shout your name. Now say, we lift you. We lift you higher. We lift you. We lift you higher. Sing, we lift you higher. We lift you higher. We lift you higher, Jesus. We lift you higher. Can you lift the name of Jesus with your hands like this? Come on. And jump with me. Hey, hey. We lift you high, Jesus. Hey. We lift you high, Jesus. Now say, we lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name. Lift your hands and say, we lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name. Now can you wave with me like this and say, we lift your name. We lift your name. Hey, we lift your name higher. Now wave your hands and say, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Everybody, jump and say, shout hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So can you shout the name of Jesus? Wherever you are, can you scream the name of Jesus? Say, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I bless you. Jesus, I lift your name high because you are worthy of it all. And you take this moment to dance with me. Come on, everybody. We sing it one more time and say, We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. Everybody, lift the name of Jesus like this. Come on. Say, We lift your name. Jesus, put your hands together. Thank you, Father. And now we have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. Hi, my name is Joy, and today I'll be doing a memory verse. Luke 1, verse 13. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zachariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth shall bear you a son, and you shall name him John. It will be a delight and a joy to you and many people. Many people will rejoice because of his birth. Bye. Thank you for watching. After feeding thousands of men and their families with just five loaves of bread and two fish, Jesus told his followers to sail to a town on the other side of the lake. Go ahead to Bethsaida. I will come later. So his helpers got into a boat to cross the big lake. While Jesus went up into the hills to pray.
In the middle of the lake, a strong wind began to blow, making large waves. In the boat, the followers were having trouble. Soon, they saw something that frightened them more than the storm. A man walking on the water. It's a ghost! But it wasn't a ghost. It was Jesus walking on the water. Have courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Peter, is it really the Lord? Lord, if that really is you, then tell me to come to you on the water. Come. So Peter left the boat and walked on the water to Jesus. But when he saw the wind and the waves, he became afraid and began to sink. Lord, save me! Jesus reached out his hand and caught Peter. Your faith is small. Why did you doubt? After Peter and Jesus were in the boat, the wind became calm. Then, those who were in the boat worshipped Jesus. Truly, you are the Son of God. Whoa, Jesus walked on water. <laughs> Jesus walked on water. But you know that Jesus was a man and yet he was also God right so he actually was god that became man he became flesh and blood that means he was actually a man so i know that everyone is like what jesus walked on water but guess what when peter said if that's you lord say that i should come and he said come that come is a sign that you can do what i can do you can do what i can do right and so peter walked on water two men walked on water two men who believed in god walked on water so that's to tell us that we can do great things as long as we believe in god all things are possible to you if you believe these guys were seriously focused on a storm <laughs> you know it's so funny how um when we were going through the lesson it actually said and then they saw something more scary than the storm. <laughs> I find that hilarious. <laughs> then they thought it was a ghost. <laughs> but it was Jesus, right? So you, you see that not everything, like they, they thought the storm was the the, the, the the scariest thing. Sometimes we feel like what we're facing is like the most scary thing, is the most, um, you know, troubling, uh, difficult times and everything. But then <laughs> there could be something worse. So you know, have to know, um, you have to know that God is with you. Like God, for, for God, nothing is difficult. So he doesn't have a grade of problems. Like he doesn't say, oh, if it's a headache, this is very simple. If it's cancer, what? But that's a lot for me no that's not how god sees it that's how we see it and that's why the bible helps us to change our perspective so god sees everything whether it's sickness a financial problems school work he just sees everything as simple and he sorts it out that's why even water walking on water to a man is impossible like it's not it's not humanly possible but to god everything is possible and we connecting to god with the Bible then says that with all things, with man, it is impossible. With God, all things are possible. So when we have God with us, just like Peter, he had God with him. And then the things that seemed impossible became possible. So what, how do you have God with you? It's to... It's through prayer. It's through studying the word. As you do that, he's close. He's, he, he, you already have God inside of you. If you are a child of God and you have, you have believed, you believe that Jesus died for your sins, right? And you receive his life. But 
um, by day by day you 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 and you you foster and you you strengthen that fellowship and that relationship by studying the word of god and by prayer just like peter cried out save me when he was drowning the same thing whatever you're in a difficult time and you feel this is an impossible situation call on the one who finds all things easy like i believe why struggle if someone else can do it better and god can do all things okay so whatever situation you find yourself call on god and he's there to help bye guys and enjoy the rest of your week hello friends how you doing so you know what time it is yeah it's quiz time yes praise yourself today we're just going to be having one quiz and you know how we do it you send in your answers to the email provided so um take notes get ready let's go so the first question what did jesus ask his disciples to do while he dismissed the crowd what did jesus ask the disciples to do while he dismissed the crowd a pray fervently b get into the boat c wear sandals and start walking d swim to the other side yes you send the answers to the email provided next question where did jesus go after dismissing the crowd where did jesus go after dismissing the crowd a oasis b desert c seaside d mountainside next question number three what did jesus do there what did jesus do there a he wept b he ate c he prayed d he rested next question number four what were the disciples heading towards what were the disciples heading towards a bethlehem b bethsider c bethany d bethel and the last question what happened to the disciples what happened to the disciples a their boat was tossed by the winds and waves b they couldn't sleep c they couldn't swim anymore d they were too tired to pray so you know how we do it you package your answers and send them in an email you write your answers and send them in an email to the email kidzone at solidrockdublin.org kidzone at solidrockdublin.org have a nice day bye as always send your homework in to the church email at kidzone at solidrockdublin.org have a lovely, 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 lovely time. Just kids zone at Solid Rock Dublin. As always, send your homework in to the church email at kids zone at solidrockdublin.org.
I will establish my covenant with you. Need to do something like you that our father, like that God, God, He's all knowing. That means He knows everything. He went he knows ahead. Everything and He knows tomorrow. And art. Like I'm so silly. Like you're, you're, you're so out. Like you're. So guess what? You know you're just all the same, right?